look around, Uncle. You are the rosy cheeked debutante at this ball of the brain. I am the strapping young cadet. Go sit down, Dave. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to a history of psychology. In this semester, I will be your Virgil, leading you not to the circles of Hades, but through the. Excuse me, I have a question. Oh, well, I can ramp back into my virtual speech any moment. Uh, yes? I think my boyfriend might be cheating on me. Should I confront him? Well, I, I am sorry to hear that, but I, this is not my old TV show. I'm not giving out any personal advice. Uh, yes? Uh, I have your first call-in question. She's from Phoenix, Arizona. She's my mom. She wants to know if you're as handsome in person as you are on TV. <laughs> that is not for me to say. People Magazine said yes, absolutely, but we're getting off track. Now, now, to our, our first lecture. What made Wilhelm Maximilian Wundt tick? Hmm? Our story begins in Mannheim, Germany. Uncle, this guy's not taking notes. He's Googling you. Stop searching Fraser Crane Height. It's all right, Dave. No, it's not okay. Why does he need to know your net worth? A man's true value has always been... Oh, my God, Uncle, you're like a Rockefeller. <laughs> Kind of makes your Christmas gifts seem ungenerous. <laughs> all, right, all right, that's enough. That's enough. I'd like to make one thing absolutely clear. This class will have nothing to do with my career, my public life, or my old TV show. I am here to lead you on a challenging academic odyssey. And if you are here for any other reason, then I invite you to leave now. Well, we've separated the wheat from the chaff. Now, are there any serious questions? I'm six foot one. 